What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A Nicole. I am here to deliver a collective read for my collective booze. So come on in. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your love. Thank you so much for the engagement that you give the channel, the support that you give the channel. Special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar. I really, 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 really appreciate the love that y'all be showing me with the tips. Thank you all for my booze who be hitting up um, my appointment book. If you scheduled your personal reading um, with me, thank you for trusting me with your energy. And thank you so much for supporting A. Nicole Terrell. I really appreciate the love um, that you all give um, on all levels, okay? Um, for my new boos, come on in. I would love for you to come on and join us. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. And never miss a beat with us over here. Please know that uh, this is room 112 where the players dwell. We do have uh, cursing here. We passionate over here. We tell it like it is over here. And if that's not really your bag, we understand. Okay, I've already cleansed the space. I've already opened the roads. Call it at our ancestors and our spirit team. And we are ready to start. Okay, I've already had some cards pop out that we'll go ahead and take. I will say temperance popped out the first card. Um, when I first started talking, I put it back in the deck. But temperance is about uh, that Sagittarius energy. And that's about peace, harmony, balance, tranquility. So let's see. First card we have is Four of Cups. Okay. It says, try not to be so picky. Okay. Hmm. Look how old that lady is. Like you, 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 some of you all could be like real stubborn, stuck in your ways, been this way for a while. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Having it all looks different to everyone. You know, so some of you, I'm picking up on energy. Some of you may, you got it together, you know, because look, she, this, this lady ain't looking like, you know, she missing meals when it comes to them coins, you know, you may have yourself together. Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, prosperity, you know, reaching the pinnacle of prosperity, you know, but you see, she's here with these damn cats. And it says, having it all looks different to everyone. Some of you could be a little lonely, you know, or feeling a little isolated, even though you got it together, you know, even though you got your coin together, some of you could be a little picky. And child, to the person who will come in these comments talking about what they safeguarding themselves from. And how is this type of man's out here, that type of man's, them type of women's, that I'm not talking about that. Yes, of course, be selective. Yes, of course, don't go for the fuck shit. Yes, of course, don't be taking no motherfucking bare minimum, bare minimum, excuse me, for some bare ass motherfuckers. Yes, I get that. Contrarily, you can still be picky on the other side of that, too picky on the other side of that, where you're missing your blessings. Okay, damn shame I got to say that, but you know, strength, okay, let them cats go again. It takes great strength to be soft, yeah. Some of you all a little too picky, you see how she is, she got a little arms folded, like she got a little problem, like she got a little attitude, you know, some of you all could be a little hard, a little uptight, your guard is up too much. Hmm. King of Pentacles, yeah, I know. I'm thinking you got your shit together. You got your little coin together. You got your shit together. True success isn't just about money. It's about happiness, too. Wow, spirit telling on somebody. Okay, she out in her storefront. She at the shop, you know. Yeah, but this doesn't also mean, my love, um, that you can't be happy in other ways. You know, some of you all may be business owners. See, as a storefront, you may own a business. 
You may be um, a healer, a spiritualist. You know, you could work in the divine, you know, tap into cosmic energy. Look, there's a pinnacle up there. So like I said, I'm talking to somebody who you, you do pretty well. You do pretty well, but we're not doing doing too well when it comes to um, seeing what spirit is trying to offer you. Okay? This person, she's getting offered three motherfucking cups of the same motherfucking cups. And she not looking at these cups that this lady is saying is for you. Because she looking at this one back here. She got her eyes fixated on that one. And she, the lady is like, uh, hello? Are you there? You know? And she looking at that one. And she don't see these three right here that's being offered to her y'all better get y'all mind right it's at the bottom of the deck justice okay stick to your truth and everything will turn out fine some of you may be dealing with something some sort of a uh, arbitration maybe a legal battle you know maybe some sort of a riff a tiff or something like that justice energy this is also libra energy 11, this could be something highly on your mind, a conflict or something. It's going to come out in your favor. It says stick to your truth and everything will turn out just fine. Yes, some sort of conflict, some sort of a new battle for you. Mm. Okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify the energy. Four of Cups. Try not to be so picky, okay? Tell me more about this Four of Cups energy for the booze. What's this? Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you all are lacking passion for something. You all are blocking some sort of a fresh start, some sort of a new passionate beginning. For some of you, it could be a whole ass person. Y'all, y'all turn it down. Fire dick. Fire, fire cooch. A passionate new start on something. Ace of Wands in reverse talks about a blockage to that. Not being courageous. Not, you know, losing your spark. Missing your spark. Hmm. My dog just sighed. The hangman. Okay. Pisces energy. Spirit is asking you to look at something differently with this hangman energy. Also make some sort of a sacrifice. You may need to let some shit go. That's taking away your spark. That's killing your spark. That's fucking with your ambition. Hmm. That's fucking with your courage to move on, to move forward. Yeah, Spirit may be trying to enlighten you about something. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Cups. Hmm. This could have something that's stemming back to your inner child. Something that has to do with memories of something. You could have a memory about something with the Six of Cups. You could be nostalgic about a past experience. Something about your past, something about your feelings in your past or your inner child in your past that has you uptight, that has you kind of hardened up a little bit, especially when it comes to feelings, shit like that. Let's see what else, Spirit. What else do we have? Four of Cups. Try not to be so picky. Tell me more, Spirit. Four of <laughs> Pentecost. Y'all holding on this shit way too tight. Look at this. Look, he got his arms folded across him, holding on this shit, and the same thing with she. A lot of you all are holding on too tightly. A lot of you all are hoarding yourselves. You know, hoarding your resources. Hoarding, you know, the, the gifts and shit you need to be putting out there to the world. You know, some of you are being picky um, when it comes to, I don't know, you, when I say where you're spending your money, it could be, you know, just something you're investing in. Your time, your energy, you know, it could be something that you are paying for, something that you are kicking in for. Yeah, but y'all are hoarding that shit. Y'all holding on to that shit tight. But spirit is trying to move you forward, baby, with this wheel of fortune. That's why you're getting offered these things that you're getting offered. Spirit is trying to move you forward and give you even more fortune. For some of you all, you feel like how you are or where you are right now. You're fine. You're comfortable. I'm good. I don't need nothing new. I don't want no new, no new energy coming in. I don't want to be trying nothing new. I don't want to be taking no risk. I don't want to be doing any of that. And Spirit is trying to shake something up with you. 
Yeah, you could be set. You could got it going on. But spirit wants to give you something that goes on even more. Hmm. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something you're not satisfied with. You know, ending a period of being unfulfilled and going after something that's going to fulfill you, something that's going to satisfy you. A lot of you all are doing a lot of work. A lot of y'all work good jobs and y'all hate y'all fucking jobs. You know, a lot of y'all have great relationships on paper, but y'all hate that motherfucker. A lot of y'all got cool, you know, friends that seem cool or whatever. Y'all look nice in y'all Instagram pictures, but you know you can't stand that bitch. You know that bitch can't stand you. You know, a lot of you all are holding on to energies that are not for your highest good. But, you know, the glue that's holding it together is it seems nice aesthetically. But you're not satisfied. Some of you all could be waking up to that. You know, because here's this moon card in the back. You could be waking up to that and just removing yourself. Hmm. Four of Cups energy also talks about a disappointment. An unrequited love, not being satisfied about something. Hmm. <sighs> One more for Four of Cups and I'll move on. Judgment and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so some something about clarity is coming through. Judgment. Spirit is trying to come through with some sort of a wake-up call for you. To give you some sort of a second chance, some sort of renewal. Hmm. I feel like spirit is really trying to push you forward. Push you into a new chapter. You got Will of Fortune Uprights, which talks about a shift, a great shift in your favor. The Judgment card, which talks about a renewal. Getting a second chance at something, an awakening. Spirit blowing this horn to get your attention about something. And then you have your Ace of Swords, which talks about clarity success a new conquest hmm. three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck working together on something collaborating teamwork a new community i feel like that's what spirit is trying to push you through i feel like a lot of you all are isolating yourself four of cups again you got it twice wow four of cups again a lot of you all are just fixated. You got your arms crossed. You're just not interested. You know, you don't have no spark. You know, you don't have no fire lit under your ass. A lot of you all are sulking. You could be in some sort of a pity party. You know what I mean? You could just be like, no, I don't want to make no moves. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And spirit is like, baby, it's time to shut that shit off and let's go. Ten of Pentacles, please. Can we please clarify Ten of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify Ten of Pentacles? Thank you. This card's just the flying. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, and then the Strength card in reverse. Lord have mercy. Lord, you got the Strength card in reverse here and the Strength card up right here. Well, the strength card in reverse, this is coming down under this Ten of Pentacles. Having it all looks different to everyone, okay? So I feel like, yeah, a lot of you all have a great foundation about something. You have a good base with this Four of Wands. You know, it, it, you look good. Everything is good. You're content. you set. You, you know, you're taken care of. You know, all of that good stuff. You're in a good period. However, Spirit still says you got a way to go. Spirit still wants to push you forward. Spirit still wants to propel you into receiving more blessings, receiving more favor, receiving more abundance. You know, the spirit needs you to put that motherfucking guard down with this strength in reverse card and get that spark back. Okay, because the strength card is the Leo. The Leo talks about being playful. Being curious, that's Leo energy, curious. A lot of you all still have pride, though. You got a lot of pride in your way. But the, the, the lion is about curiosity, being playful, having a heart, you know, of, of, of a lion. You know, being ambitious, being passionate, you know. That's what, that's what we need you to do. And it's crazy because in a lot of these, um, a lot of these pictures... 
Is this one too? She got her arms folded. A lot of you all are defensive about something. You have your guard up about something with this arm folded. Hmm. The spirit is saying you need to put your guard down too with this strength in reverse. Hmm. Bottom of the deck energy. Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is you stepping out, being courageous. This is you stepping out, being assertive. Okay, being ambitious. Being authoritative, taking charge. Being fiery. You know, stepping into that fire energy. Hmm, I feel like uh, Leo is prominent. You got strength twice. Strength card twice, plus the uh, queen of wands. Let's get to the strength card. Let's clarify this strength. It says, it takes great strength to be soft. Okay, let's talk about it. It takes great strength to be to be to be soft. Seven of Pentacles comes out when I said when I say this. Okay, <sighs> I feel like Spirit is telling you all to invest in your softness. It's time for you to take some of these resources that you have, you know, and 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 treat yourself to some softness. Plant new seeds of softness. Have that strength. You know, to 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 be to be goddess like or be god like. You know, be vulnerable. You know, that's your new harvest. That's this new this new seed that you need to plant within yourself. That's the new growth period. This new growth spurt that you're in is being soft. Okay? That's something that you need to work on with this seven of pentacles. Tell me more. Spirit. Child, ten of fucking wands. Yeah, because y'all are burnt the fuck out. Y'all are hardened because y'all have had so much responsibilities. Y'all have had so much on your back. You've had so many burdens. A lot of you all been dealing with heavy motherfucking burdens. And spirit is like, you've reached the end of that phase. It's time to let that shit go. King of cups, five of swords. Some of you uh, could be hardened up. You know, um, because you could have dealt with a lover boy. It could have been a water sign. Pisces, uh, Scorpio, Cancer. That played a lot of games with you. Hurt you. You know, really drug you through the mud. But also with this Five of Swords um, and this King of Cups. Um, some of you all... No. Three of, three, of, three of Swords. This motherfucker hurt you. Yeah, a lot of you all were hurt. That's why you got your guard up. That's why you in there being a motherfucking cat lady. Yeah. Dealing with some sort of union, some sort of connection with this person may have had you in some sort of mental conflict, messed with your head, lied to you, gaslit you, hurt you, broke your heart. Mm. Some of you all are swearing off love forever. And y'all already know how I feel about that. So I ain't gonna get too much into that. I ain't gonna go off on my tangent on that. But spirit is like, uh-uh. It's time for you to put them guards down. You know, everybody ain't out to get you. And you are deserving. Seven of um of cups. This talks about um your choices, you know, cloudy judgment, everything um that is offered to you and good for you. So use discernment, you know. And spirit is like, you know, for some of you all, you could be too picky because you don't want to make the wrong choice again. Because this did fly out over here with the four cups about being picky. So some of you all could be hardened or some of you all could be feeling the way that you are because you don't want to make the wrong choice again. You don't want to get hurt again. You know, with this seven of cups, you don't want to go through what you went through with old boy or old girl again. But spirit is like, you better take some common sense with you and just use discernment. Take your time. People can't fake forever. People can't pretend forever. Okay? Take your take ask the right questions. Take your time. Vet people. You don't just shut down because of one motherfucker. Are you crazy? Yeah, you gotta be motherfucking crazy. One person gonna fuck some shit up. Why they going on about their motherfucking business and you over here being cat lady, being cat man. And I'm not talking about the Halle Berry edition. No. Death. 
came out when I said that. Yeah, it's time for you to put the end to how you've been feeling. You know, how you've been, your outlook of shit. How you think you, you should be moving. Death card energy, that Scorpio energy. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a motherfucking a Scorpio. Because that's the King of Cups as well. Hmm. Anything else for strength, spirit? Okay, King of Pentacles. It says, true success isn't just about money. It's about happiness too. Okay? So yeah, like I said, you got a coin, but are you happy? Are you happy? King of Pentacles, Hermit energy. I'm talking to or about someone with Virgo energy. And I'm also talking to or about somebody who's in their shell. Because that's what the Hermit is. Some of you all could be spending too much time in solace. And I said that when I seen her sitting on this motherfucking step by herself. Spirit is asking you to come out of your hiding place. Come out of your shell. Come out of the darkness. And shine. Come shine. Show us all the things that you've learned on your journey, you know, of, of self-reflection. It's time for you to come out and, and share that wisdom. For a lot of you, that's your coin. You know, turning turning your heartbreak or, or turning your experiences into a motherfucking coin. Okay? Anything else, Spirit, before we wrap this shit up? Let me just shuffle through one more time. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. Thank you so much. Hold on. I saw... Hmm, nah, I thought I did. Nine of uh, Wands. Spirit is saying don't give up. Please don't give up. Your time is coming. You know, especially if it's about love or whatever, don't give up. Come out of your hiding place. Please come out of your hiding place. Stop being so... You know, surly. Stop being so uptight. You know, stop hoarding, you know, your gifts. Stop hoarding what you have to give to the world. You know, it's time for you to come out of that self-imposed. A lot of you all are in some sort of self-imposed exile. You know, where you know, some of y'all, I'm just focusing on me and my kids. Which you should, of course. But for a lot of y'all, that's a cop-out. And them kids ain't trying to get you... They don't want you to be focusing on them. They fo You're focusing a little too motherfucking hard. They can't breathe. It's time to transmute uh, some of that into some motherfucking adult time. Some adult experiences. Okay? Okay? My dog just sighed when I said that. Like, my motherfuckers are tired. They tired, boss. Okay? Auntie gonna speak for them. They tired. All right? So, I'm gonna leave this here. I hope these messages have brought you some sort of clarity, closure, comfort, whatever it was you was looking for, baby. I hope you found it here and then some. Okay, here at Asia Cotero. Okay? Um, please know that I'm rooting for you. I love you. I fuck with you. I want the best for you. You know, and I'm always going to have that space here for you. You know, to give it to you to the real deal, holy feel. And all your hookers and hoes know how I feel. Okay? Yes. Yeah. But it's your time, baby. It's your time to move on. It's your time to level up. This, this, this ain't your time to stop and be complacent here. Spirits say they got a lot more blessings to give you. A lot more blessings to give you. It's going to go up from here. All right? Come on out of that hiding space. Come on from out of that cold fucking uh, existence you're at. And soften up. Soften up, baby. Be a little vulnerable. Let people love you. You love up on other people. Don't just waste away and fucking die. No, you still got life to live. All right? I'll leave my information below if you want to connect with me off of here. Um, if you want to schedule your um, one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Okay? In the meantime, in between time, please take care of yourself. Keep your head up and keep your motherfucking bread up. All right? I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'll check you another time. Bye-bye.